Hello, KP people. KP Productions here. Welcome to the very first tutorial video on the channel. So, uh, let's just hop right into it. Today we are going to be doing our learning how to create uh, Lego Star Wars lightsabers, or uh, really any, uh, any lightsaber. If you have GIMP, this program here, so you can get it pretty easily uh, if you don't have Photoshop. It's like a free version of Photoshop. You can download it here at their website, GIMP.org. Um, so go here and download this if you don't have it already before you start watching the video. Um, so let's just hop right into it. This doesn't necessarily have to be for Lego, but I'm going to be using Lego today because uh, you can use this in Lego stop motion animations. So that is pretty cool. So let's just, uh, you're going to want to go to file and then open or and you're gonna want to already have gotten a uh, Lego Star Wars image or a lightsaber image um, off of the internet so you can just go up here and actually type it spell it correctly and then without all caps lock and then uh, you can just select one of these and download it save it and then get uh, get going with the tutorial from there Okay, so I'm gonna get a Qui-Gon Jim Jin, not Qui-Gon Jim, Qui-Gon Jin uh, picture. I'm actually gonna have to go there. Um, so you're just gonna open up your file, and it'll open up here. Now you're gonna want to zoom in. You can either take the zoom in button here, the little magnifying glass, and uh, then just select the region you want to zoom into. Uh, but another way you can do it is press the numbers on your keyboard. One is far further, two, three, four, five, uh, like that. I'm going to be doing this in three. It may look really pixelized, but trust me, uh, it'll look good in the end. So here you can see we have a normal lightsaber. It doesn't look that great. Uh, it's just normal Lego, but we want it to look really nice. I'm actually going to be using four here. We want it to look really nice, so the first step to starting making this lightsaber is you're going to hit new layer, <laughs> new layer. Uh, you c you're going to name it blade, and then the width should be already set because it should be the picture. Make sure you've selected transparency and hit OK. After that, you are going to want to come over here and do select and then all. Then come over to the paint bucket tool and go to the black selection, make sure that your foreground color is black, and just fill it all in black. Then you're going to go up here to select again and hit none, and then go down over here to the mode area and hit screen. That will get rid of that. Uh, you'll see why we do this later. So then we are going to come over here and take the magic lasso tool, I believe it's called, uh, the selector tool and take it up here and select the whole lightsaber. It looks like it kind of goes out there, so I'm just gonna go out a little bit. And this is how this works. I actually do not like this at all. This isn't looking too good right now. Um, so, okay. There we go. This is, so you just select the whole outline of the lightsaber and I'm actually gonna start over. Um, so, Select the whole outline. And then once you finish selecting the whole outline of the lightsaber, come over here to the paint bucket tool, switch the colors to make it white, because that's going to be the inside of the lightsaber. And now we have a white lightsaber. Um, now we're going to do select and none. Then we're going to go up to the filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then this will pop up. We're going to want to make the blur about three, maybe, uh, actually one will probably be good enough for this. In this way, it'll match the pixels more and it'll blend in so it doesn't stand out quite as much because uh, you want it to look like it's naturally like this amazing lightsaber. So once you finish doing that, you're going to want to right click on the layer blade and hit duplicate layer, duplicate layer. And from there, you're going to want to rename it Glow, because this is, ah, spelled right, Glow. Because this is the Glow layer, the first inner Glow layer. We're going to have two Glow layers. And then take the Glow layer, and we are going to go Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur again. And take this up to 
10 should be good. Hit OK. And now you can see there's a blur. But it doesn't look like a real lightsaber because we need to add color. So go to colors and then color balance. And then wherever, where is colors? Is it back here? Ah, here it is. Color balance. And then, see, the new GIMP is kind of messed up in the way that it uh, does things like this. But, uh, yeah, I'm using GIMP 2.8. So take this. He had a green lightsaber, so we're going to have to pull the red back more, put the green all the way up, more blue maybe, uh, more red, a little bit more red, and just get it to the point where you really like how the color is looking. A little bit more. I liked it a little better before there and then highlights Nah, I think that's good and then hit okay so now you can see the lightsaber is looking pretty good there's just one last little layer we're gonna have to do so just hit uh, duplicate the glow layer and name it glow 2 enter and then come up here and do the same thing blur Gaussian blur and make that and then we're going to, instead of 10, we're going to make it 20, double, double whatever it was before, and hit OK. It really depends on the picture, what you choose. And then we are done. So hit 1. There you can see, without that, there you can see that we have a realistic looking lightsaber. Of course, you don't have to use Legos. Uh, I'll show you a few example pictures that I have that use uh, some other Legos and then some other colors. And I'll also show you... Um, a realistic lightsaber uh, from the real movies that I edited from normal to what it looks like. So let's look at that. Alright, so here we have some examples of before and after pictures. Here is the Qui-Gon Jinn one we just made, uh, the before picture, and then we have the after picture. Uh, and it looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? We have a Vader picture, so we can see the red lightsaber. That's before, that's all normal. And then we have the after picture. It looks much nicer. Um, this was the first one I did, so the red doesn't quite stand out as much because I was still learning. Here we have one that isn't Lego, uh, and it is Emperor Palpatine or Darth Sidious and Anakin Skywalker. This is a movie, uh, picture from the actual set. And if you just uh, add the lightsaber effect to their lightsabers, it really makes it look so much more realistic. Um, so that you can also do regular lightsabers, use the same technique I showed you. And then we have uh, a few guys here, and then already their lightsabers look great. And then here we have a bunch of Jedi, and then there we go. So you can see, you can use this with a lot of different things, um, and it'll end up looking great. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment uh, and subscribe uh, for more tutorials on LEGO and also Minecraft videos. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, would you like me to show you how to do a crossing lightsabers maybe in the next video? Um, yeah, if you want to see crossing lightsabers, put it down in the comments and I will do a tutorial on how to make your lightsabers cross and look realistic. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.